I had to start again. You already know they cut me off. And the crazy part, and now I'm going to talk about this. You don't all understand. You all should be catching this right about now. You all should understand people. Let me tell you something. Why do you all think these people keep cutting me off when I'm saying important things in almost every video, not every video, but in videos that are intricate to the body of Christ, you all don't know that they cut me off. You, you, you guys haven't noticed that every time that I'm getting ready to say something that'll shift your life, that'll shift your spirit, that'll shift your finances. They cut me off. That should let you know to get back up on here. That should let you know how serious it is. That should let you know that the enemy is afraid that if we understand what God is really doing in this hour, it will help the body of Christ. Come on, somebody. You guys got to understand how real it is. For them to cut me off every time, you should be listening very closely because they don't cut off anything that's not of the world. You see, if it was the worldly stuff, they wouldn't cut me off. They cut me off because they know what time it is. God is getting ready to do something for his people that have never been done. This is the transfer of the wealth and they know it and they don't want it to happen because they know it's going to shift church as we know it. Oh, I feel it. I feel the power of God. It's going to shift church as we know it. It's going to shift your life as you know it. It's going to shift your life. It's going to shift everybody around you. Oh, you don't hear what I just say. That's why they keep cutting me off. They only cut me off when they know that anointing is going forth. They only cut me off when they know I'm getting ready to say something that's going to pierce your spirit. You guys better recognize what they're doing and how they're doing it and why they're doing it. Now, I'm going to say like I was getting ready to say. This have been the oldest fight since Cain and Abel. God would give instructions. All through that Bible, God gave instructions. You could say what you want. Oh, that ain't God. The devil is a lie. You better read your Bible again. God gave instructions from the beginning even to now. Cain and Abel, he told them, to, this is how I want it. This is what I want done. Cain wants to do it his way. He's just going to throw something to God like people do these days. Well, God, you know what? I'm just going to give you this. And that's why you're getting what you're getting. But Abel, come on, somebody. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Abel gave God what he wanted. That's how we're supposed to do it. And then you will always have those kings. Why is it that Cain killed Abel? Because you know why? When Abel gave God what he wanted, God was pleased with Abel, Cain. Cain, you, you gave God what you wanted. And that's why you got what you want. You got, and then you got mad and killed your brother. Ooh, y'all better understand I'm preaching up in here. That is the same spirit that's going forth in this hour. The enemy is mad. First of all, fool, you are in heaven. You the one chose to talk about you want to be God. Now, because God has given us favor. Come on. We've taken your place. Let's be real. Come on, somebody. Reach me, reach me, reach me up in here. Now you're going to get mad. Don't get mad at us because guess what? We're going to have an able spirit. We're going to do what God has commanded us to do. We're going to walk it like we talk it. We're going to obey God. And guess what? It's not just about blessings. God said that I will bless you in your soul, your spirit, your mind. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is real. This is not a game. But there will be instructions before there's blessings. And I can tell you because I've been, it's been proven. Since January, God has made me sold and do things that I didn't want to do. I'm going to be real. I'm, I'm always transparent. I did not want to do it. But I can honestly tell you I'm glad I did. It was hard. I, I, I kind of questioned, okay, God, this is you for real? <laughs> I'll be real with you. Sometimes we do question it. Let's not lie. Sometimes we... we, we we have a problem with it. We like, okay, God, this going to stretch me or I don't want to do this or this don't feel comfortable or this don't feel like God. That's why I always tell people, get clarification and confirmation. Your spirit will never lie to you. If you feel uneasy, it's not God. Or oh, let me just break it down to you. No peace, no God. If you don't have peace when you're doing anything, that's not God. Because God say, when I bless you, I, I, I cause no suffering. When I bless you, you, you you're not going to stay up at night worrying about it. So I pray that you continue to be strong in the Lord. I pray that you continue to be obedient. I pray that you continue to follow instructions. Don't be king. Oh, come on, somebody write that in the comments. I don't want a king spirit. I want an able spirit. I don't want a king spirit. I want an able spirit. I want to do what God have called me to do, what he's instructed me to do. Y'all know how hard that is? Oh, it's real hard. You see, it's easy to do what you want. And then when you get what you get, you crying to God. Oh, come on, somebody up in here, up in here. 
So I could, I pray that you could be blessed today. I pray that you understand what the will of the Lord is. And he says, I pray that you prosper even as you soul prosper. But don't get it twisted. Don't get like this world. It is not just about money, honey, and funny. You have to be obedient. God wants to give you the, the fruit of the land and the fat of the land. But you have to be obedient. Because at the end of the day, it is about souls. It is about souls. And what God wants us to do is God wants this ministry and all ministries that are of God to go forth like never before because why people are perishing out there and that's because we're not doing our job in here. It is time for the church to really, really get, be about souls. That's the heart of God. Oh, you thought it was money, honey, and funny. No, the devil is a lie. The heart of God is souls, but you can't do anything if you don't have anything. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can't do anything if you don't have anything. I had to learn that the hard way. I just really thought, okay, I love God and <laughs> Honey, it costs to do everything. That's real. And you cannot do it by yourself. I tried. It did not work. And that's when God said, you have to try something different. You have to ask for partners. You have to, you have to ask for, for help. And, and oh, I'm going here. I'm going here. We all need each other. You can say what you want. This is a group thing. This is not an I thing. Oh, I had to learn that too. Oh, I'm preaching up in here. So God bless you. God keep you. This is March the 2nd. 2022 sow your way through sow your way through hallelujah so god bless you god keep you this is prophetess deanna dixon roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are be blessed everyone much love and respect